All right, so Brother Stone, today our, our discussion is, is going to centers on um, something very amazing. Uh, over the years, men of God have gone through a lot. <clears throat> some, some have hit ministry because the encouragement is not coming like the criticisms. So I want to know, you know, once in a while we hear and then we see a radio man of God has done this, a man of God has done that. Not a good thing, probably supposedly a bad thing. And uh, you find a newspaper, everything. What what opens men of God up for those things? For instance, let's say a man, a man of God has gone to sleep with an elder's wife. Okay, That's just to say, for example. I want to know what opens them up for such attacks. Before we, we, we talk about how to handle it as believers when we hear of those things, that's another issue. But I want to know first and uh, what opens them up for, for those attacks or those kind of things? I believe strongly, thank you very much for this opportunity. I believe strongly, first thing, the major thing that opens the door for this criticism and this kind of stuff is pride. I believe strongly is pride. Whenever Christ enters a minister, he looks down on the people. And that created much major problem to him. And he opened doors to many, whilst he himself would not even know. So I believe pride is a major tool to that. Alright, so <clears throat> let's say someone, a, a pastor has gone to sleep with an elder's wife. Same example. How does Pride are going to do with such a such traditional one event. Very well. In everything, it has a beginning. That pastor has fallen short of the grace for a long time, whilst he himself did not know. That's what I'm saying, pride opening door. The sleeping is just a result of what? Of the pride. All right. So, so let's see. <clears throat> if he wasn't proud, like, he would have been very careful. Very careful in asking. <laughs> so that's what opens door. For the sleeping, or what we produce the sleeping is a pride. All right, sleeping with someone, not somebody. Like, because it's sleeping, uh, sleeping with someone as well. So, um, uh, Radio, can you say or give us another reason why? You see, ministry is not an easy thing, and um, I believe every minister would want to finish well. Every minister would want that he wouldn't have any bad thing to to happen to him in his ministry. Um, maybe the person is praying the fast. All of a sudden, he's in prison. I want to know why, why those things happen. What will be in those things? Is it the prayerlessness of the church or what? <coughs> Thank you. This question, uh, I think it's a very big question then. Answering it, you have to be very careful. But, as my brother just said, with the mention of pride, is one of is the biggest example, uh, the biggest, I think, what how do you call it? The biggest cause, yeah. You see, and you see, that's what leads to indiscipline. Per uh, your the example that you cited, because the person has confidence in himself that whether the the lady comes to me alone, like I have the ability to withstand any kind of temptations. But Paul said that we should have no confidence in the flesh. And when you read the Bible, you realize that when Lot departed from uh, Abraham, the Bible said that he pitched his tent near Sodom. He wasn't in Sodom, but he pitched his tent near Sodom. But by the time that Sodom would be destroyed, he was in the middle of Sodom. How he got there, we don't know.